401 expenses are too high. They're too high. They're robbing everybody. Such a freaking oh, it's idiocy. Idiocy, I tell you. I'm going to share with you good news on 401ks. Can you smell that? It's a cool day here in Georgia. I am smoking a brisket on my trig right now. Smell those wood chips smoking. It smells good. All right, so let's read this from the Centers for Retirement Research over at Boston College, which I'm not the fan of, generally speaking, because it's a very doomsday scenario. They're just like Teresa Girogeldi and uh, the, the, this, the people like, ah, we have Susie Orbitz of the world. No, we can retire. It's, it's, yeah. But anyway, even with the spread of target date funds, fees remain an important issue. An expense ratio of 1% or 100 basis points over a 40-year work life will reduce assets at retirement by almost 20%. All right, so the, the, that leaves a lot to be desired, that statement. All things being equal, we all can make the same contributions. Right? We have the exact same returns. If I have an expense ratio of 1% and you have an expense ratio of nothing, you will have 20% more than me. That's 100%. I, no one would disagree with that. However, this is, this is very broad brushed here. An expense ratio over 40 year of 1% will cost you 20% over 40 years. That's that's just that's what the fear mongers would have you believe. It's just stupid because that's just not true because it assumes all these things that just aren't going to come to pass. That we all invest the same exact way like this and whatnot. If it, if we do, it's 100 percent true. But it's just it's just not. I hate when they say that. Because this is why I do like data managers. Because all these negatives on about 401ks, IRAs, expenses, and all that does discourage people from investing. I'd rather have you invest in a a total stock index with a 1% expense ratio than not invest at all. 100%. That's where Dave Ramsey, which I get why he says, look, uh, he talks about the 10 to 12% rate of return. He goes, yeah, but now we're going to have a return of nothing because people won't be investing. I get it. I don't think you have to exaggerate, though, to get people to invest. I just think you have to tell the truth, but be that's Despite a decline over time, it just I like how they just kind of you know, half-heartedly, a decline over time, expense ratio on mutual funds remain high. <laughs> Based on how people actually invest, the expense ratio was 44 basis points in equity funds, 37 basis points for bond funds, 32 basis points for target funds. That's not a high expense ratio. That's just not. That's idiotic to say that. It freaking ticks me off. That is not a high expense ratio. Here we are in 1996. 104 basis points was the average equity mutual fund expense ratio. Look at that. 104 basis points. Now it's a third of that. Here we go. The Investment Company Institute. Mutual fund cost. 2.26% in 1980. In 1998, it fell to 1.35%. And now... And the 401k is 44 basis points. It just is so freaking stupid. We won. John Bogle won. But look at this. And this is on top of a five and a half. They even had eight and a half percent commissions back then. Give me a freaking break, dude. Uh, I just, it's such a, uh, I just, 40, look, there has to be a cost. You don't get anything in this world for free. By the way, there's Pablo. Some of you guys want to see Pablo. I just got off the horn with a lady who had a dog that looked identical to Pablo. But she was a girl. And Pablo's a boy. I said, Pablo would not find your dog attractive. Because Pablo, while he's not gender fluid, he's species fluid. Pablo thinks he's a feline, not a canine. Isn't that right, baby? Yes, sir. And her dog had all her teeth. And they're all light, unlike Pablo's. But Pablo's still so cute. Everybody loves Pablo. Oh, look at that. Oh, so cute. Anyway, don't listen to fear fear mongers on expenses and mutual funds or uh, 401ks. It's idiotic. Talk to you later.